The Famous Five. The Famous Five are five amazing individual women who joined together in Alberta to accomplish multiple things as a group. Emily Murphy was born in Ontario in 1868 and later moved to Alberta. She was an advocate for women and girls' rights, was a strong supporter of married women's rights, and was the first female judge in the British Empire. Even so, when she wanted to become a senator and many people across Canada support her, she was blocked because the Supreme Court said she was not a person. This motivated her to join the other strong four women and be and start the famous five. She said, I believe that there is never a country better adapted to produce a great race of women than this Canada of ours, nor a race of women better adapted to make a great country. Louise McKinney was also born in Ontario in 1868 and then moved to Claire's home, Alberta. She was instrumental to the Women's Christian Temperance Union, bringing about prohibition with the belief that banning alcohol protected women and children. As the first female member of a legislative assembly in the entire British Empire, she introduced the Dabo Act which prohibited people from selling women's homes without their consent. And she worked for social welfare for women and immigrants. She also started the United Church of Canada. Louise McKinney said the purpose of a woman's life is just the same as the purpose of a man's life, that she may make the best possible contribution to the generation in which she is living. Henrietta Muir Edwards was born in 1849 and moved from Montreal to Fort McLeod, Alberta. She was known as an artist and legal expert. She started the Natural Council of Women of Canada, set the foundation for the YWCA, and established the Victoria Order of Nurses while living with her husband on First Nation reserves in Saskatchewan and Alberta. The people respected her wisdom and compassion and honored her with the name Otter Woman. She said, if women had the vote, there would be no reason to come asking twice for a better legislation for women and children. Irene Pallaby was an aristocrat born in London, England. In 1868, moved to Red Deer, Alberta to marry a farmer. She did not want to be a politician, but was elected to the Alberta legislature in 1921 as a conservative. As a minister without portfolio, she accomplished a lot through collaboration, convincing the Minister of Health to start traveling clinics, the Minister of Education to introduce distance learning, and other ministers to set up programs for rural residents, in addition to being an MLA. She was also the president of the United Farm Women and was appointed by the Prime Minister to the League of Nations. She said, if politics mean the effort to secure, through legislative action, better conditions of life for the people, greater opportunities for her children and other people's children, then it most assuredly is a woman's job as much as it is a man's job. Nellie McClung was born in 1873 and moved from Manitoba to Alberta. She spent her later years in Victoria. Known as a novelist, reformer, journalist, and suffragist, she got the vote for North American women and later Asian Canadians. She was a liberal MLA in Alberta, the first female director of the Board of Governors of the CBC, and was appointed to the 1938 League of Nations. McClung said, Canada is destined to be one of the greatest nations of the world, and Canadian women must be ready for citizenship. The famous five women collaborated in many ways, and are especially remembered as coming together to win 
the person's case in 1929 at the Privy Council in London, England, to finally give women the right to be called persons and have increased rights of many kinds.